right, this is one last midnight. Welcome back to another episode of Astroneer. The other night when I was playing a live stream, I set up an automatic seed farm and a lot of people were wondering how I did it. So let me go ahead and walk you through the process. First, you're gonna need 10 medium platform A platforms. This is to hold the five auto arms, one for each seed, and some sort of storage for each seed. I happen to use the medium storage silo because it just holds a lot. You're also gonna need some sort of power to power the auto arms. I put that on a large platform A and I happen to put two RTGs there. You can put anything that you want as long as there's enough power for the arms. And then I also have a little bit of backup power in a medium battery, though I don't need it with the RTGs, but it's just an example so that if you have some sort of solar or wind power, you have some backup power with you. And that also is sitting on a medium platform A. For the logic part, I have a proximity repeater, two button repeaters, two delay repeaters, and two count repeaters. You're gonna arrange your auto arms around the proximity repeater and make sure that when you hover over the proximity repeater, it doesn't highlight any of the auto arms because when it fires off, it will shut off the auto arms if they're within that range. As an example, if I move this auto arm forward and then hover over the proximity repeater, you can see that the auto arm is blinking white, which means it will be activated by the proximity repeater. So you wanna make sure all the auto arms are outside of the range of the proximity repeater. Place your medium platforms in a semicircle fashion around the radius of the proximity repeater and have the auto arms pointing inward in a way that it covers the proximity repeater area. So you can see here's the radius of the proximity repeater. It's much larger than the auto arm, but the auto arm pickup area is direct, directly over the proximity repeater and try to do that for each and every one. And then have the storage set on the output side of the auto arm. So you can see it'll pick up from here and it'll drop off on the storage back over here. Once you have the medium platform ACE configured in the way that I have set up in the proximity repeater, along with the storage, you're pretty much ready to go. You're gonna need to harvest the five seeds that the space snails like the most. And those are the cataplant, the Hispine seed, the Attacus, the Boomaloom, and the Spew flower seeds. In order to be able to turn the auto arms on and off, because we need to have them off during the very first planting, I'm gonna set up a button repeater that will activate all of the auto arms at one time. So take your button repeater and create segments behind each of the auto arms. And then create an attachment point onto each auto arm from each of those segments. Once that is complete, when you activate the button repeater, it should turn the auto arms on. And it should also be able to turn the auto arms off. Now let's configure the delay repeaters and the count repeaters. The first delay repeater should be set to 25. So make sure you move that slider all the way up to 25. There are two count repeaters here. I have them stacked on top of each other or you can have them side by side like I have here. It saves you from having to do segments if you put them on top of each other. So just go ahead and stack them. The first count repeater though, you want to set to a count of eight. And the second count repeater, you want to set to a count of three. Like I said, set the count repeater that's set to three on top of the count repeater that is set to eight. Finally, the second delay repeater, you want to set to a max of 25 as well. Okay, let's go ahead and set up the wiring for this. You want to take the target pin off the button repeater and place a segment on the ground and then place a segment on the ground right behind the delay repeater and attach it to the delay repeater. I did this little box just to make it easy for you to see what's going on. You want to take the segment pin from the delay repeater and repeat the process. Put it on the ground in front of the delay repeater, create a segment, 
put it on the ground in front of the button repeater, create a segment, and attach it to the button repeater. What this does is it creates a loop. When we fire off the button repeater, it'll send a signal to the delay repeater, which will count 25 and send a signal back to the button repeater, which will then in turn tell the delay repeater to go again. In order to shut off the power for this entire logic, all you have to do is remove this one pin. The delay repeater will count, and then that's it, it will end. Now, why this delay repeater is firing, we also want to fire off the count repeater. So take this segment pin, branch it, put it in front of the count repeater, create a segment, and then attach it to the bottom of the count repeater. Wait till you see it goes green and then attach it. Now what we've done in this process is we have our loop, but every time the loop goes around, the count repeater will count. Let's go ahead and watch that. So here comes our first loop and the count repeater is lighting up. Here comes the second one, so on and so forth. When it gets up to total of eight, it will fire off the top count repeater. So essentially what we're doing is we're firing these count repeaters off 24 times with a delay in between each count of 25, whatever this measurement is the, on the delay repeater. When this is finally done, it will send a signal off. And you can see that by creating a segment and attaching it to the proximity repeater. And it's about to fire off here shortly, right now. And you can see the proximity repeater went off. Let's detach this whole process. If you happen to detach the process while it's in the midst of counting, you need to reset this. So just go ahead and slide it back and forth. And let's do the last portion of our logic. So when this top count repeater reaches its maximum amount, that is eight times three, we want it to do something. So let's take that segment pin, let's branch it, place it here, and then attach it to the proximity repeater. Make sure that this delay repeater is outside of the radius of the proximity repeater. We don't want it firing the same time that the proximity repeater fires. We want it to fire when the count timer is up. So let's branch this segment and attach it to the delay repeater. And we'll take the segment pin from the delay repeater. We'll put a branch right here and we'll attach it back over to the proximity repeater. What this does is pretty simple. Our count timer will count. When our count is up, it will send a signal that will fire off the proximity repeater and the delay repeater. The delay repeater will go off, against which will fire another signal back to the proximity repeater. Now, why do we do that? The reason why is because when plants are ready to harvest, it takes a moment or two for the seeds to settle for you to be able to replant them again. So you give them that little bit of time to settle down and then you fire the proximity repeater again and the seeds will plant. Let's put this in the practical use. I'm gonna reattach my timer. The first time that you plant, you're not gonna have additional seeds to put in the auto arms. Putting seeds in the auto arms are very important. So imagine and pretend that this is the very first time that you're planting. You're just gonna put your seeds down all into the proximity repeater area and the area in which the auto arms will pick up. And you're just gonna manually fire off the proximity repeater. That will plant all of your seeds. You're gonna wait for your plants to grow up. The longest growth plant is the spew flower. It takes about a minute 30, a minute 40 seconds for the spew flower to finally grow up and be ready to harvest. So we have set our timer up to last as long as it takes for the spew flower to grow. And then it will harvest all the plants at the same time. You can see that some of these are already ready to harvest while other, others say that they are germinating. Once the spew flower is ready to harvest, 
fire off the proximity repeater manually again to harvest the plants. You'll get a bunch of seeds. Take one seed of each type of plant and put them into the auto arms to use them as your filtration process. Now we're ready to replant. Take those extra seeds, plant them back down, manually fire off the process again, and start your timer. From here on out, we're doing an automatic process. The timer is going to run for about a minute 30, minute 40 seconds, and then it will harvest the plants, it will delay, and it will replant for you. The auto arms, let's turn them on, will then pick up the extra seeds that are sitting on the ground and put them in the storage. Here comes the harvest. The seeds pick up, the timer fires, everything replants back down again, and the process starts all over again. And that is it. That is your automatic seed farm for the space snails. Well, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. We'd love to have you in the community. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can find the links in the description below. And make sure to hit that notification bell. That way you know when I go live and when I post new videos. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.